Hello, Ian. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's me, your old buddy from many years ago. I thought I'd give you a quick, uh, a quick call this way so that you could hear my voice because I, I appreciated that um, when you sent me your photograph, as I said in the little brief email going back to you, um, if I had to include all the features that I remembered about you, it would be um, hearing your voice and recognizing it. Um, I've always been fairly good at this sort of thing, recognizing people's voices um, and hopefully being sympathetic to them or empathetic. That's the right word, isn't it? Um, I thought I'd just send you this anyhow to give you some idea of what happens to people when you're not looking all the time. And that's how I feel, you know, with the emails back and forth to you, which I very much appreciate, by the way, um, that, you know, a lot of water has gone under the bridge, deep old water, big bridge. And, um, you know, times have changed, people have changed, we've changed. So I studied your photo and I looked for features that I knew about you know, the original pictures that we've got. And uh, I sort of pieced it together and said to myself, would or asked myself, would I recognize this person if he were to walk past me in the street? And I come to the conclusion that I probably would not. And I'm being very honest now, but I would have recognized you, stood a much better chance of recognizing you if I'd heard your voice. So this is it. This is why I'm doing a quick uh, video. This is the second time I've done it, by the way, because the first time I'd got my microphone plugged in from my headset and it was buzzing and it made a right mess of it. So I'm redoing it. And I, you know what it's like? You can never do something as good or better than the first time you do it um, when you ad lib. And this is the same for me. But um, although I've had loads and loads of practice, as I'm sure you have, of speaking to people, you know, lo loads of people, groups, classes, for many, many years, it's always different when you're doing it for real and not for a work or a job, not for play, if you like. So anyhow, I'm just sending you this so that you've got some way of studying my picture, uh, albeit a moving one, um, and sort of taking notes, mental notes. Is that, is that what he looked like? Was that really him? I can't remember much about him, probably, you'll say. But anyhow, um, it all helps. And I... I just want to say, take this opportunity of saying to you, I really appreciate your email messages. Uh, it gives you something to aim for, gives me something to look forward to. And um, there's, nothing, there's nothing better than your memory when you get to this sort of age. I, I have to say that I remember not long ago, I saw a chart of uh, little crosses, one for every day of the year for 100 years. And they put it into a matrix. And if you put your age on, if you, if you color in all the little crosses uh, up to your age, and then you compare what's gone compared with what's left in your view, it's a bit of a surprise. It made me think, wow, I better hurry up and get something done. And um, so this is why, you know, everything can motivate you if you're interested in it. So I'm just looking at you know, the future, really, with 
quite a lot of optimism because I've got my, as you know, my on passive business um, rushing towards me now. And I'm just about to take hold of it and uh, make the most of whatever's been done before and, you know, the impetus going forward. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you've got something. Uh, and I have yet to hear about that. You know, if you've got something that um, motivates you and makes you want to make every day count from here on in particular, then let me know. Uh, I'm really interested in, in what you're up to. And I think that this is a breakthrough. You know, when we send photographs to each other and we say, right, we could talk and reflect on the past and all the funny stories, etc. But now, now you've sent this photograph, now you've sent this picture, and we can see the real us. What are we going to do about it? <laughs> and, you know, some people would say, well, what do you mean you don't want to do anything about it? You know, this is life. We're retired in order to be retired. You don't need to do anything. I don't need to have a schedule every day, and I'm sure you don't. But looking at your, you know, the house where you live and looking at the photograph that you sent, you know, I look at, I study every little bit in the background and I'm thinking, wow, I wonder what it's really like there. And you sent me that other, uh, you know, bit of information about Alberta. Um, and it's fascinating. It's, it's a different world there compared with here, isn't it? I mean, you, you've got the benefit of knowing both worlds. And uh, presumably you've made your choice because that's where you are. And it's, uh, it's good to see how clean and tidy everything seems to be over there. Um, not that I notice it being dirty and untidy here, but it probably is. I remember when I went to Germany for three years, that's only three years of your life, but God, when I came back, <laughs> I noticed how scruffy the UK was compared with Germany. But I wouldn't have known before that it was scruffy. Mind you, we had we had a lot of better other things as well. We had better shops. Not that I'm a shopper. Clearly, I am a talker. Sorry to keep you. Maybe you just like to see a little bit below the stripes. <laughs> well, you know, I've got no shame here. I'm actually. 143 kilos which is 23 stone yeah 23 stone that's a lot and as i said in my little note it's very difficult to do things like backflips anymore <laughs> um you have to say goodbye to some things don't you unless i'm going to slim a lot and I have big jokes with the family here uh, about losing weight, etc. And they refer to me as Daddy Pig, you know? Well, I don't know whether you follow the old, the kiddies programs in any way, shape or form, but Daddy Pig's a character. Well, I don't mind being the character, but I don't fancy being the same shape. Well, I am. I'd rather stay behind the chair, of course, but that's the real me. You can't actually see real trousers either because I haven't got a pair of real trousers that fit me. I use loads of these um, jogging bottoms. Once you get into jogging bottoms, you never get out, do you? I'm speaking from experience. Anyhow, I don't want to embarrass you anymore, so I'm going to I'm going to sit down and perhaps feel good about exposing myself in all its glory. That's a proper movie picture of me. So have I changed? Have I changed? <laughs> Can you recognize any bits of me from the face? Do you remember any bits of how I talk? I don't know. But I'm going to say, I look forward to your next letter, 
missive, as you call them. And um, we've got a lot to talk about, haven't we? Long may it last. Take care, you. Oh, come on. That's Oliver in the background saying, oh, come on. <laughs> he's got some games on his machine and uh, he's talking to them by the sound of it. Anyhow, lots more to talk about, Ian. Take care of yourself.